Conyers. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Uh, this is uh, quite interesting. I'll just submit my statement because I'm still catching my breath after Mr. Cannon's, uh, I think it was six or maybe more myths that he was propounding. And uh, we're here today because we issued a subpoena. That's why we're here, not that we did, knew or didn't know that Ms. Myers was coming or not. Uh, she told us she was originally, and then somehow or someone changed her mind. Uh, so when, when he asked the ranking member for uh, the majority to submit evidence that would prove what it is we're looking for, that's what we were holding the hearing for. This would have been the very first White House witness to show up, even though she's an ex-White House witness. I'm just wondering if the White House can call a, a former employee and tell them not to show up. Uh, it seems to me uh, that uh, we're proceeding under as reasonable and modest an approach as we can possibly make. And it, it's in that spirit uh, that I congratulate the subcommittee majority members and minority members for being here. This is important. Are congressional subpoenas to be honored or are they optional? And uh, apparently uh, we have to to run this out, not, not to uh, prove or assert or with any swagger uh, do anything uh, unusual. We're still trying to get bottom of this. Now, if it's already been resolved, then I'll be pleased to uh, uh, look at any documents that that uh, make it unnecessary for, to hold these hearings. The Judiciary Committee has more responsibilities than any other committee in the Congress. In the first six months of the 110th Congress, we passed 37 bills, far more than any other uh, Judiciary Committee has in the last 12 years. And so I'm rather proud of our legislative accomplishments, but there are other things we can do besides find out if Ms. Myers is, uh, considers herself subject to the subpoena process like every other American. And I return my time. Thank you. I would like to thank the Chair.